making some breakfast here with Bentley. Eggs, bagels, and Bentley. Good morning, guys. I'm gonna take a little break from my work, and do you wanna go for a walk? <gasps> you wanna go for a walk, Bentley? Yeah, yeah? Get ready, get ready. Put on your vest. He's like, don't forget my ball and my, and my bag, my poopy bag. So like he like stopped by and like touched his ball <laughs> for me to carry and then he went to the poopy bag and grabbed one for me. He's so smart. We're back at the park. What a beautiful day, huh? Yeah. This? You want that? I need to get to smell like nature. Like nature. <laughs> I need to smell like nature. Don't make me smell like a human. You're gonna get all smelly. Yeah, buddy. Galloping dog. Gallop, gallop, gallop. Purina One dog chow commercial. The way you can cut a rug. Watch and use the only drug I need. So gangster, I'm so thug. You're the only one I'm dreaming of. You see, in fact, there's nothing I can't be. I want the world to see you'll be Bentley. I think it's time for the doggy shuffle. Yeah, cue the music. Bentley, look at your butt. It is so big. He's so tired, look at him. Just sleeping on the kitchen floor. I'm having the rest of all my junk food here. I have like three bagel bites, like three popcorn chicken pieces, and three hot dogs. That's my lunch. That's my you want a corn dog? Feel? Okay, good dog. That's a whole corn dog, you better take your time. Um, to make myself feel better for eating trash, I'll just drink some green smoothie. That should even it out, right? You don't want this, Bentley. You guys, I just got a massage. Look, it looks like I bruised myself there. And I'd never gotten one on my chest or whatever, and apparently they said it makes your chest larger. Especially, I had no feeling in my chest, so. I'm headed off to the pool right now because I need to relax my muscles a little more. See you there. It's like a beautiful pool day, and nobody's at the pool today. What? Yeah. You have a smelly breath, Bentley. Do some Aura Pup action in here. Here it is. Oh, clean your tongue. Clean your whole tongue now. He doesn't want it. <gasps> he, he like licked like three times and he was like, eh. He, he's like, he doesn't like it anymore. Whenever I put it by his face, he's like, I know what you're trying to do. You're just trying to trick me to lick it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. He's like, I don't want to clean my breath. Wow. Mmm, smell, smell? Mmm. Doesn't it smell good? Yeah, see? Mmm, good dog. Okay guys, I'm headed off to the gym. I can't do too much because since I got that massage, I was saying that I can't really work out those certain parts until they heal. I can pretty much just do arms and legs today, the extremities. See you there. <laughs> Just got back from the gym. One of the trainers at uh, at my gym was just like, they swear by having, by this glutamine, by Max Muscle. And apparently he was like, this, I saw so many big results from it. So I decided to try it out. I'll let you guys know. If you didn't know, glutamine is to help muscle recovery. Do you need some glutamine, Bentley? Guess what? It's Chipotle time. Chipotle time. The mother load. Chips, tacos, and my burrito bowl. Beastly meal here. So I got this free sofritas thing. We'll see how it tastes. Are you ripping your your toy, Bentley? 
You ripped it! Bentley! <laughs> Aaron's like shaking his head. Oh my gosh. Bentley. <laughs> Bentley's like, don't forget, I love you. Uh, okay, I don't feel good. I ate everything. I ate the burrito bowl, all the tacos, and chips. His shoulder is still aching. Can you believe it? It sucks. I'm gonna try taping Aaron's shoulder here. Yeah, we'll see if it works. Looks super hardcore there. <laughs> Rock tape. Sponsorship. <laughs> I know, please send us some free samples. So I thought that today I would tell you my story about how I got into my dream school for college. That being the Ivy League school, Cornell University. And I thought that I would do this especially since a lot of you maybe need some tips on how to apply to these college applications. I thought that I would just tell you a little bit about my story. Since I was um, a sophomore in high school, I already knew what school I wanted to go to. I had the Cornell binders, I had Cornell every day. Everyone thought that I already got in sophomore year, which is like impossible. For the rest of my junior and senior year, I tried everything I could to try to get it really helped that I had really good grades and I had a lot of extracurriculars. You want to know some of them? You want to hear it? Get ready now. Okay, I was the editor of the school newspaper. I was the head of the uh, media department for school for the morning bulletin. I was really known for my videos in high school. I, they would play my videos in the morning bulletin and everybody knew me. I was the head of the student ambassadors program. I was vice president of the social service club. I was vice president of the Japanese club. I was vice president of the creators club. Um, I was vice president of the student government. I was president of the junior class. I volunteered and tutored students. I was a member of the National Honor Society and what in Hawaii they called the Holomua Honor Society. I was on the tennis team and I had a 4.5 GPA. I think that's about it. <laughs> the one thing that was really difficult for me though was actually getting my SAT scores up there because although I was I did very well in school, I was not very good at standardized testing. The part that really ruined everything for me was the reading component because I was and I still am a very very slow reader and that just really ruins everything. I did very well on the written and then very well on the grammar section since I was editor of the school newspaper and in AP and IB English. Every single weekend, on the weekend, on Saturday, I would just sit down and take two SAT tests, one after another, and then grade it myself and then take another one. That would take up like the whole day. Isn't that really sad? I would do that every single weekend for a year and a half and my reading scores never went up. And I was like really, really depressed at the time. And I was like, why? And I was like really frustrated too. I was like, why after doing all this work, my scores aren't going up? One month before the SAT test, my scores started getting into the range, into the low range for Cornell University. And I was like, oh, and I got so excited. After that, I felt like all that hard work finally paid off. So I really understand you guys who are studying really hard for the SATs, how frustrating it can be. I took every single, I took Kaplan, I took Princeton Review, I took all of them pretty much. I actually only applied for one school. So what I did was I did apply early decision. If your school allows you to apply early decision and you really know you want to go there, definitely do it because it shows that you have a commitment to the school. You have a higher chance of getting into the school. I made sure that I had really, really good teacher recommendations. I got to know a lot of my teachers in high school. One really smart thing to do for your college essays is to make sure, and for your entire application, is to make sure that your whole application tells a story, whatever you want to do. And another thing that it's great to do is to show that you have a passion for something and reflect it in everything that you do. And so all my recommendations, I ask my teachers to focus more on those subjects on my applications. On top of that, I also interned. I had got recommendations from all of them too. Pretty much in my application, I was able to show how I would add value to the school by being accepted. You want to show that you fit the school and that you, you have a passion for it because the only thing that the admissions people are looking for is that you are a perfect fit for the, for the school. For example, if the school is famous for fine arts and you want to study art or photography, it's a lot stronger to have a lot of that 
written on your resume and show that you have a very strong passion for that than if you just send in a generic application that just has your GPA and everything like that on it. If everything together is a great marriage, I think you'll have a way better chance of getting into the school. I was putting all my eggs in one basket and I was like, please let me get in because I didn't even write any applications for any of the schools. I remember it was like December 18th, it was like the last day of school. I logged into the computer. I was so nervous. I was so scared. And you have to remember that everybody thought I was already at Cornell. <laughs> I already got in somehow. After all of that hard work, I logged into the computer after my final exam with my parents and, and, and it said congratulations you got in. And that was the best day of my life, I remember. I was like, that was like the happiest I have ever felt in my entire life. Those years of hard work and <laughs> just like the rethinking that right now is just like making me, I, I just like still remember that and yeah. <laughs> and so I think that's what the moral of the story is just try your best and great things can happen for you. <laughs> and I think that I'm an example of that. Hey guys, anyway, it's getting kind of late, so I'm going to head to bed because I need to go to sleep early nowadays. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. So since we have the Vitamix, I actually probably don't even have to chop this up very finely at all. The rest of my dandelion greens here, like one handful, like two big handfuls of kale here. One celery stick, there's one apple here. Apples and sweetness. One barlet pear. I like to put two bananas. 